As you can see, the bike is still work in progress, but I thought I'd give you an update on the progress that I've got done so far. What I just got done wiring was my four-way flashers. So one thing I'm not happy about the KLR, and actually with some bikes, they don't come with four-way flashers. Now, like my Honda doesn't have one and my KLR doesn't. Now, maybe that's because they just think the bike's not going to break down. But again, maybe I have to stop for somebody else that's broke down and like to build that four-way flasher so we don't get run over by the cagers out there. So on my, my lower dash, what I've done is I put a switch in for my flashers. The switch right here runs my voltmeter and my power outlets that I have. And then this switch right here will be for my fog lights or auxiliary driving lights that I'll be mounting. And then I still have one spare. So what I did was basically take power, run it to this switch through a fused line coming in here. From here, it runs down to the relay that I mounted down here. It comes into the positive side of the relay, exits on the negative side where I've teed the wire to go to the left and right um, front blinkers. When it comes to the front blinker, I located the two wires that go to my blinker. There's a positive and negative. One side's black and green, and the other one is black and gray, I believe. So black, I found out, was the negative. So I tapped into the positive side. So from the positive lead, I brought it to a diode. And then from the diode, it goes into the pigtail that I made from the flasher relay. So, and then I did the same thing on the other side. So to make it easy, I decided to take the front cowling off. Some people say it's kind of a pain, but actually it's only six screws and bolts. You have two that are underneath your dash or underneath your front cowling, your two bolts up in the front dash power in your instrument panel. Then there's two screws on the bottom side that screw in. After you take those off, the whole cowling basically just comes forwards. So gives you full access. So I plan on also doing the um, headlight upgrade to the LED, or, uh, LED um, headlight. So when that comes, I'll be mounting that on here um, and putting it all back together. So what I'll do is I'll show you the wiring diagram. So here's a diagram I used for wiring up my flashers. So these are my front two flashers. What I did was took a power, positive power lead from the battery through a fuse to a switch. From the switch, I went to the positive of my flasher, which is a 10 amp EL12, which I just picked up at AutoZone uh, for like 12 bucks. Then from the negative side of the flasher, I went and teed it off so one would go to the left and one would go to the right blinker. Before I test directly into the positive of the um, blinker, I put a diode and each of the diodes is a 1 amp 1N4001. So that way when the left blinker is activated, it won't back feed into the right and the right won't back feed into the left. So by doing this, it is directly off my battery and I do not have to worry about having the key on or you having the headlight actually run down my battery faster if I pull over or have some kind of malfunction with the bike. So now the only difference I did with my wiring, I said that since my switch had a lighted LED, I had to have a negative. So what I did is from the negative, I just brought in to the negative side of the switch. And that illuminated my um, diode and the switch indicating that the um, flashers were being um, activated. So really simple to do. All you need to do is basically get yourself a switch, a flasher, and two diodes. And then locate those wires, which is fairly easy to do. And that. So here we have it all hooked back together. So I don't have my headlight connected right now because I haven't replaced the bulbs yet. So I just tentatively put it back together. So if I turn on and I do my left blinker, 
you see that left side works independent of the right side and then I'll switch to the right that works independent and that so and then if I want to use the four ways I throw the switch and all four work so real quick easy modification um, hardest part was just getting everything um, figured out where I wanted to run my wires to in that so maybe hour and a half to do